NASA is set to launch its most powerful rocket yet, making a long-awaited return to the moon's surface. The countdown has begun for the Artemis 1 mission, expected to travel nearly 1.3 million miles over the course of 42 days. News Nation's Brooke Schaefer joining us now with details on that launch. Brooke. Yeah, it has been five decades, 50 years since the last Apollo mission with humans to the moon. Now NASA is trying to do that again, and it all starts on Monday. As you mentioned, the official countdown started today for the Artemis 1 launch. This is going to be an unmanned mission, so there won't be astronauts on board this rocket. Monday's launch will be a six-week test flight, if you will. So if all goes well, astronauts could be landing on the moon again as soon as 2025. We got the chance to sit down with a couple of people earlier this week at NASA who have worked on this historic mission so far, and they are excited. It's a stepping stone to the future. There's stuff, there's more to explore there, and hopefully we're gonna mine things that's gonna let us build on the moon so that we can use that as a base or mine things to take to a base in space, that, you know, whatever the plans are in the future. Um, to go out farther and explore. I, I think we're a people who want to learn things and, and we get better by learning and we make and we learn things out there that help us back here. So Monday's launch marks the first of three Artemis missions. The rocket is supposed to take off between about 8.30, 10.30 a.m. on Monday morning. And actually, Natasha, my team and I are going to be there. We will be in Cape Canaveral to see this rocket launch if all goes as planned. So you can watch all of the preparations, everything leading up to it right here on News Nation. Natasha? And Brooke, we will be tuning in. I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.